Ten dollars. You gonna hey, show Google. me? Uh -huh. Hey Google, turn on the living room lights. Do you want me to go get it? Sure. What happened? The, the two fairy gifts this ten money. Ten money. Whoa. That's cool. Hey guys, good morning. Uh, we are putting Everly down for her first nap of the day. She's been up pretty early, like seven o'clock most days, the last couple of days at least. And <laughs> I have socks on her hand because she's out growing the mittens and she likes to scratch her face while she's napping. But um, yeah, she's been waking up pretty early so she's been going down for a very early nap right after her second bottle of the day. And so we are going to officially put her in the crib. I cannot believe it, it's so crazy. So the crib, this was actually Autumn's crib and we have transitioned Autumn to Emmy's old bed, but Autumn and Everly have been on an opposite night uh, nap schedule recently. So I'm gonna try and put Everly down for her nap first and see if that works and kind of goes into the time that Autumn would be taking a nap. Autumn usually takes a nap about 1.30 and it's 11.30 now. So Everly has been sleeping about an hour and a half to two hours on her morning naps. So I'm gonna put her in the crib and see how it goes. It's kind of bright in here. I don't know how it's going to work. We had an extra sound machine. You can probably hear the white noise over there from, I feel like Maddie, but maybe it was from Autumn, I don't know. So um, instead of, I know Maddie had one of those. So I don't know if we rebought it for Autumn or if it's the same one. We didn't buy it for Everly. We've been using the Google Hub for her. So we're using this in here to see if it works. First nap in her big girl crib, so sad. And it's May 1st, so she'll be five months on Monday, which is a lot later than we moved and trans transitioned the other girls. So we'll see how it goes. You ready? You ready? You ready? So quick for my first nap, guys. See ya. Mm -hmm. so. It's so new, huh, mommy? It's so new. <laughs> Yay, everything. Yay, everything. Are you going to have a nap in your big girl crib? Is it nap time, mama? Yay. Okay, so I'm not ready. I have I have her in the in the room. I'm not ready to have her sleep in there at night just yet, but she's been taking two naps a day. And it's been really hard to have her in the room during the day, especially because if I need to get in here for whatever reason, whether it's to fold clothes, I literally haven't made my bed in like six months probably. <laughs> and I was organizing so I took out my, I don't know if you guys remember when I've showed you before, I had an Alex 9 drawer unit right here. We moved that the other day, I don't think I showed that. We moved that the other day downstairs to my office. So now, literally on my vanity, all I have is makeup stuff and nail stuff and hair stuff and things like that. It really didn't make any sense to have all the girls arts and craft supplies. I mean, we even had like stencils paper cutter, um, the zigzag scissors, glue, all the glue, <laughs> my hot glue gun, the glitter glue, the all the glue that we own, um, all of the arts and crafts stuff, the popsicle sticks, the foam stickers, anything that we would use for a project, an arts and craft project, I had in that Alex 9 drawer up here forever for so long. Well, when I had my office up here, it was fine because the girls would do 
their projects. Okay, thank you. Just um, put it up there. Um, the girls would do their projects in my office, which is now their playroom. So now it just didn't make any sense. I'm trying to move things around to make more sense, to declutter a bit and just downsize. And slowly but surely we're getting there. And so that was one thing that I was like, why is it here? It, it's just taking up room by my vanity. I literally go in there for nothing ever except if the girls need it for a project and so since they've been doing their homework and stuff downstairs and they need all the project stuff downstairs we moved it to my office so it just made more sense to have it downstairs so that's what I did we moved that and now it is peachy keen I'll show it to you in the office it's right next to the treadmill in the corner a perfect spot for it um, and I still feel like the office doesn't look too too cluttered but one thing I have in there that makes it kind of look cluttered since we also have the treadmill and the weights and stuff in there is the um lego table which andres had built the big girls lego tables for christmas and they were supposed they were supposed to go in their rooms and their rooms were just like entirely too cluttered so when we moved the playroom up here Emmy parted with her Legos, which I'm very surprised, but she parted with her Legos and put them in the playroom, and so did Maddie. So but I want both their Lego tables up there so that they don't have to mess with it, because then what happens is Autumn wants to play with the Lego table, and instead of coming up here to play with it, she brings Legos from up here downstairs, and I don't want a whole bunch of little toys. That was the whole point in doing this was I don't want a whole bunch of little stuff floating around downstairs if they're gonna play they can play up here they have plenty of stuff to play with and she comes up here frequently but sh that's what she'll do is she'll she likes playing with the downstairs lego table because it has her legos in it so she'll bring more legos down to her lego table even though it was at one time maddie's lego table but whatever and the rest didn't build three of them he built two of them <laughs> and we have realized in this house if they're not willing to share they each need one and if we're not willing to get them each one they have to figure out how to share so it just was really hard when Everly takes up a good portion of the day napping. You know, she's napping, she sleep, we sleep, we get up, and then I have to go downstairs and get everyone breakfast and get their schoolwork and stuff. And they're pretty good about getting their own breakfast and even starting their schoolwork, but they still need some sort of help. So it was difficult to like go down there and do that. And then Everly needed to eat and come for a nap. And so if I needed to get ready, meaning like take a shower, this morning I straightened my hair because Andres didn't have to work until this afternoon. And so he was started their homework with them. And when I was done straightening my hair, it only took me like 20 minutes because it was dry from yesterday, but I needed, Maddie was like, oh, you're straightening your hair, mommy. Where are we going? I'm like, nowhere. I'm just tired of looking like a bum every day. So I um, straightened it and put on an actual, I'm still in like lounge clothes, some lounge shorts and a oversized t-shirt, but um, at least I feel a little bit more put together even with just my hair done. So he started homework, I went down and finished it and she was just chilling down there and so like today I was able to get ready but under normal circumstances if he's not here, I don't have that option. I have to wait to get ready until um, usually when he's home or I have to make sure Everly's in the bathroom with me or whatever. So I can't do it while she's in here napping because then it disrupts her nap and then she'll get up and the big girls are in quiet time and then I have to feed her and then I have to feed myself and then by that time the big girls are out of quiet time and then it's time to think about dinner so and then she goes back down for an, an early evening nap for about an hour and a half so it just I told on the sister I was like I think I want to try although I can hear her crying um I think I want to try and do naps in the room and just see how it goes she's so used to being in the pack and play it's a very similar feeling it's a comfy mattress in there as well but it's just a different environment so we'll see how it goes i don't know we're gonna try it so now i came into our bedroom to make our bed because i've been wanting to make our bed and like i said by the time i just we get up in the morning everly needs to eat and it oh i can hear her crying uh here hopefully she likes it so I'm gonna take five minutes and make our bed because it hasn't been made like I said in about six months maybe four probably closer to six and hopefully that'll make my day go great
she was actually probably crying about six seven minutes because by the time I took pictures and all that <laughs> she didn't go down until like 11:40 ish and then she laid there for a few minutes so she actually only cried for about six minutes but it worked she's asleep I'm so excited now we'll see how well she actually sleeps while she's in there that's going to be the key the girls are sitting down to do lunch but we were just outside mulching that corner I don't even know actually if that's what it's called but we moved some of the bricks we're going to enclose that area um, just to give us more room in the backyard and just to make things look better so I took the rake it's too hot to go back outside or else I'd show you it's over there I took the I think it's a mulching rake it's got like metal things in it and I just moved all the dirt around in that area and we moved some of these bricks here around the crepe myrtle tree and then I'm going to move the bricks that's around the that are around the lemon tree and move the rest of these around that and then make this even back there and if I have more bricks left over I'm going to move them in the front yard around the tree in the front yard because we are also going to not only get mulch for this back corner we're going to get mulch for the front for and we're going to get sod for the front yard because we haven't had much grass in the front yard in many years because the tree is so big it kills the grass um, and it's such a high slant that um, we haven't been able to uh, replace it with just dropping seed. Andres had mulch it one, once before and dropped seed and it didn't stick because it's such a slant. Second you start to water it, like the seeds come down. So yeah, him and I were just talking last night about a whole bunch of little inexpensive, and when I say inexpensive, I mean like a couple hundred dollars and below, um, projects that we can do around the house that will make the house feel more warm and cozy and more inviting and not, it's like I told him, and I'm sure if you guys have, our home is not old, old per se, but it's starting to feel older. Um, we've owned it almost 11 years now, and September will be 11 years and it's starting to show its age. And don't get me wrong, I mean homes, my mom's home, my grandma's home, all Nin's home, like all those homes are 40, 50. Oh my gosh, yeah, probably like, even my mom's house is probably even 55 years old, something like that. I think it was built in the 60s. Maybe my grandma's was like the 70s, I don't know, but they're older homes. And so, I mean, it's of course nothing like that. Homes last for so long, but it's starting to like dirt and stuff or places that it doesn't belong. It's just not fresh and brand new. The paint, the trim, the actual outside of the house needs like a good spray down and the trim needs painting, our front door needs painting, stuff like that, you know, just like little things. So you do, okay. Um, so I told on the desk, I was like, we really should look into just like a few little things, buy a gallon of paint, I don't even know how much paint it would take to paint the front door and the shutters, but buy a gallon of paint, not very expensive, but it'll freshen up the house a lot and um you know put grass in the front yard put mulch plant a few flowers again won't take a whole lot of money wise but just some time and a little tlc so um we were starting on the backyard it's just so hot outside it's so hot and it's barely one o'clock and it's so hot and everly's still asleep she's going on two hours i'm yes so yeah the girls are going to go down for some quiet time which should be perfect timing i anticipate everly waking up here any minute really she's been asleep like right I over two uh, two hours and like 10 15 minutes you did i know they were outside for a while and i was playing with Zuchi. you were her hair was nice and pretty and put together so was yours what happened y'all got wild emmy was in here doing her painting with diamond she's almost done Almost. I just need to find a frame. I need to find a frame for mine too. I know Walmart sells kind of irregularly shaped poster frames, but I really don't want to go in store right now. Um, I mean, well, I'm not taking them, so today I'm not going to go. Maybe tomorrow when Andres is home, I'll chance it and go get them to be able to hang hers and mine. 
and just sit here and continue to contemplate. Another thing I want to do is switch up the uh, half bath. I feel like the half bath has looked the same the entire 11 years that we've been here and um, I really would like to just switch up small things whether it's just like a rug, different decorative items, you know, small stuff. So that's kind of the goal. Um, I have to do a billing and coding class. I have to learn how to bill and code for when I start billing my patients. And I have a quiz. They're both due tomorrow. So, yeah, I have to figure out what's for lunch. I'm probably going to have leftover pulled pork. The girls had PB&J sandwiches with some veggie straws. So, yeah, that's what we're up to. <laughs> Autumn stormed in here like a bull in a china shop. She awake? <gasps> Slept in the crib. Oh my goodness. Good morning, Mama. Was it different? Did you love it? I was it so much her fun? Music was it on? No, I know. She didn't have her music on. Was it so much fun, Mama? Was you it? did such a good job. Mm -hmm. You did. You did. <laughs> This is a sound machine that we had. It has different sounds. She just happens to like the white noise, but there's a whole bunch of different sounds and it's super simple. Just turn it on and off. So nothing Can like I our Google mommy? Hub, but it's worth it. Can and then Andres is gonna mommy? mount the camera Can up I there for fly? me. One time. Turn it on. Thank you, all the way off. There we go. <gasps> you ready, mama? You did so good, mommy's so proud of you. Mommy, Yay! I, I get my okay, everyone is down for quiet time. The big girls have their iPods because that's typically, they didn't really do much for screen time today, but they helped me, well, they helped me with the bricks in the back. So that was my way of giving them screen time. <laughs> but this little one did so good. You did so good, huh, mama? It was like a two hour nap. I forgot her bottle was at 11. I forgot she didn't actually go to sleep until like 11.45 and it's 1.50, 1.52. So two hour nap. It's pretty good. I'm so excited. Huh, mommy Sita? Mommy Sita Sita? Who did mommy Sita Sita? Now she's ready for another bottle. And then I don't get any peace and quiet <laughs> because she's up and the big girls are now down for quiet time, but that's okay because her and I will just chill out in the living room. Hopefully she tolerates laying down with me for a little while. Our neighbors are playing music in the back and being quite belligerent, <laughs> if I'm being frank. They're talking about having coronavirus and you know, whatever, so. Anyway, we're getting some fresh air. Hi, Mama, see this feels good out here. Feels good to have fresh air. What are you doing, you trying to swing? You don't it is so pretty right now I wish we had waited to do this to, at this time so this is what we started doing um, mulching it hold on baby and then putting that around now I'm gonna mulch the lemon tree and we're gonna put more bricks you around blush. yes so you don't hurt yourself thank you we have a lot of lemons on this thing this is a Meyer lemon tree um, let's see if I could find them for you we have one starting right there Get on ready. that branch, there are three. One even fell off. There's one I right there, off. right there. There's a couple there and there. There's a bunch on this season. We usually only get like two, but there's a lot of little sprouts. I just have to remember to water it. So now we're gonna put the bricks. Oh, you were all exposed, Mama. What the heck is going on? There we go. Okay, Pikachu needs to say goodnight, too. Let's go. Bed, bed, bed. 
Which one do you want? Uh, Neither? Little mini? Little mini? Then put Pikachu with your other animals so he has friends Let's to see. sleep with. Look at my Oh. Look at my hair. She did. She did. It's shiny. <laughs> this thing's in my hair because... Oh, you don't want either of them? No. Okay, we'll stuff them in there. All right, little mini. Okay, good night. I love you. Good night, I love you. I'll see you in the morning, okay? okay. You forgot to, uh... No, we didn't forget anything. I love you. I love you. Dos I'll see you in the morning, okay? Okay. I have waffles to my aunt. We'll see. Good night. Okay. I love you. I love you. Big girls are having a sleepover. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody is in bed. Um, the house is definitely not clean. Or straightened it's clean but it's definitely not straightened and honestly I don't even care right now because I need I haven't even made myself any food nothing I haven't had dinner I mean let's be real it's not like I'm gonna waste away but still I made sure everybody got fed everybody got bathed and all their everything vitamins and all that and I'm always the last person to take care of. I never take care of myself. I think that's just motherhood. That's what it's called. <laughs> so, when the kids go to bed, mommy gets to take care of herself. Everyone went to bed a little late today. That was my fault because we were in the backyard and we actually started moving stuff to the front yard and I'm plugging in electronics and the girls' iPods are all charged and putting all that away because then what happens when they get up I'll need it for something or they'll get screen time and it won't be charged anyway um, what was I saying yeah it was my fault so we ended up going into the front yard to get some stuff done up there too trying to move around some of the bricks and different stuff and we ended up getting stuck there for a little while like an extra maybe 30 minutes so bath time started a little bit later and then trying to get everyone wrangled into bed and all of that was just a whole nother task in and of itself so I'm probably just gonna pick up like their bottles and stuff and pick up some of the pillows from the floor but I'm not scrubbing or cleaning anything we can do that tomorrow I'm done with the day I'm exhausted and I still need to edit so my work seems like it is never done.